Lewis Hamilton, thank you to my friend Drake for my new OVO jacket. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the t-shirt and heavy chain on there, too. He's, he's got the whole uniform, doesn't he? The is OVO it, uniform. He, how much do you think that chain is worth? The chain? Yeah. yeah. Oof. <laughs> so I say probably two to three. I don't know. Silver's kind of cheap right now. Two, three grand. <laughs> <laughs> just two three grand this, this is guy's probably 80 bucks 100 bucks right here yeah <laughs> so this, this is, is a flat a out fever podcast we're gonna be talking about f1 stuff and and uh, and things like what's lewis hamilton wearing today <laughs> <laughs> can that can that be a recurring theme on the podcast <laughs> yes and 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 his dog roscoe definitely oh is that a thing oh yeah we oh, have oh, yeah. we have yeah, it. We let's, have, let's we check have it out yes hashtag and, where's roscoe but i just christen uh the studio <laughs> quickly before as we get started here <laughs> oh that's so great this is a uh pirelli marble oh yeah. oh sweet is a, nice you smell that the burning rubber oh is that a it smells like like a burning pirelli like an so, oh no no it's okay uh okay that is, I, I this is about official it. formula one tire oh <laughs> okay yeah, there you go studio so, th- so there's Roscoe, but uh, <laughs> right beside this, uh, is some guy with a guitar licking the head of his guitar. <laughs> That's really cute, actually. I'm slut. all right with that. <laughs> <laughs> He's been posting all kinds of little, little cutesy. Is this kind of like a Jaden Smith pie. sort of situation where you're like, I don't want you to be on Twitter anymore? Yeah, except he's 30 years old. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Jaden's like 14 or something. Oh my god. A lot of people are saying that you know, oh, it's it's such a good thing that he because he, he he took his dog Roscoe mm-hmm. over to. Uh, award ceremonies and he takes him everywhere on his private jet and whatever and a lot of people say like uh, have started criticizing him for that but then there's there's this whole segment of especially the British public that's like oh no this is actually really cute and you know it, it shows that he's human and I can relate to him because I have a, I have a dog too <laughs> that kind of mentality. anyway I'm Jay Danny and mm-hmm. I'm Mike sweet all right um Today, I really want to hit on what ha- what's been happening recently with the the F one strategy group. Yeah. You you were following up uh, what happened mo- uh, in that January meeting. January sixth. Yeah. All right. Well, I think be- before that, this uh, this, this Bernie Ecclestone, F one Supremo, mm. uh, all of a sudden he doesn't like his uh, new engines anymore. I guess. But it, he never liked them. I think he it, 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 the new engines were sort of a a compromise that they had to they had to agree upon a few years like years ago yeah. uh, in order to get Mercedes back and 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 open the possibility of getting other manufacturers back on uh, onto Formula yeah. One because the uh, the argument and used to be that these old engines they they don't not they're not relevant anymore. So to make it more relevant, let's let's the hybrid technology, w- which so far I mean. I don't want to. I don't want to be part of those people that have downplayed this year because, uh, or sorry, last year. But because last year, the you know the new engines, um, even though they were quieter and whatever, I I was there. I saw them, and and you kind of forget, and 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 it kind of becomes a nice thing that you don't have to wear headphones or or, or some sort of ear protection at the track. Um, but still, I mean, there 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 is something lacking, and they want to address that by saying, "Well, screw screw that." Let's go back to V10s or or, or, or something. <laughs> yeah, that was Ecclestone's <laughs> initial initial idea, but I don't think that's very popular because of all the money spent on these these blocks that they've already built the V6s. Well, right, V6s. yeah. And you have a new entrance like Honda ne- uh, that's coming next year that have yeah. spent millions in, in development and in time. Tens of millions. Uh, uh, and most importantly, time to, to get these engines because they thought that they were going to last. And now there's, uh, we're talking about a possibility of having that whole sc- that whole thing scrapped, not for next year, but yeah. for the year after. Not gonna happen. Yeah, that's the yeah. new the new idea for. Came up on January sixth to push the um, engine change to twenty seventeen. 
bring up to a possible 1,000 horsepower. But They're running about 700 right now, increasing the fuel rate, increasing the RPM, increasing the gas tank size, but basically trying to get some more noise and power out of these these same blocks. But you know what, why they're saying 2017 for that? It's not because they don't want to be, or it's not because Bernie doesn't <laughs> doesn't want to be inconsiderate to Honda or or anybody else. It's because they can't. I just the the way that things stand right now, yeah. um, for this year and last year, um, the the way that the the, the F one strategy group worked is that each team got a vote, and for the, the teams had to agree unanimously for any kind of changes. Yeah. So obviously. Um, a, anything that, that was going to affect Mercedes, Mercedes could have just vetoed it. But they have changed that. So beginning, um, after beginning uh, the 2016 season, uh, it's just going to be a simple majority. And with simple majority, they will get that motion through. They will get like they, they will get the engines not to be this because everybody I think it's going to happen. It's too good of an idea. You want to yeah. go back to the old. The, uh, also, what the idea for, for 27, 2017, I think for sure. But... Possibly next year leading into 2017 is mm -hmm. going with the bigger tires, more downforce, and more of a raked aggressive look like these cars used to have with the low wide spoilers and uh, and this is what fat tires. We what what I was talking about the other day, and I and I and I wrote about this on 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 the Elo that these are good ideas. We we should we should be happy that they're at least talking about this. Th yeah. th this has some semblance of common sense, which has been so uncommon recently in in, in the F1 paddock. So so that that needs that definitely needs to be looked at. The the, the bigger tires. I mean, just just, just imagine a, a mean looking just just from just for looks alone. Yeah. The the big fat rear tires should come back. <laughs> just just by looks alone. Yeah. For on sure. top of that, the neck snapping, cornering speed. Oh yeah, it, it, well, there's an argument that um, I, I believe I, I saw this on the the Racers Edge uh, Peter Windsor's podcast. I, I forget who they who they had there, uh, but but they said that yeah, the bigger the bigger tires, it gives you more mechanical grip. So you see as, as a spectator, you see more of the driver. You know, making that car dance, making the rear dance uh, into the corner, out of the corner, something like imagine like approaching something like Rascas, or 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 even or even our just down our rouge, just being able to actually like make the car struggle and go go in and out of it with a nice line and maybe even overtake. Yeah. yeah. So that 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 could be a, and you know, Bottas with like some big fat tires and no and no grip. I think he can do something. I guess that well. The the thing I love about this is that if this happens, which I think it will, the next three years are all going to be very different. Yeah, personally, I love it. Keep changing everything. I, but <laughs> some people some people have 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 a problem with that because you know back in the day they used yeah. to they used to set a, a certain level of reg or a, a certain regulations if I would uh, would put them out and they'd stick around for five years. Yeah, and and people like uh, some old, some old schoolers like that. I I agree with you though. It, if it can change, if it's something that's not gonna impact uh, the racing that much, or if it's gonna make the racing better, we should be pushing for those changes. We yeah. should be wanting to make the racing better. Formula One right now, it's stuck in. It's Bernie. Bernie's stuck in the past, and and he wants to make F one more popular, and he wants to to do, to break the American market and all this. Um, but I feel like they may be. He, he may be overlooking his most serious problem, and it's you know make make the sport better. If if you can make the yeah. sport better, the fans will come. Yeah, I, that's that's my point at least. Yeah, I, I agree. Well, that's what this is all about. Mm -hmm. A lot of people were upset about the noise levels this year. But I think part of that, too, is all the television equipment was set up for these crazy whining cars. Right. That's with true. With limiters on the mm -hmm. microphones and things like that that were set up for that. So I think through, through last season, you heard uh, – I don't think the cars necessarily got louder, but on the broadcast – the sound was transmitted better. Mm. I think going into next year is that a, is that a huge factor uh, when it comes to F one and how people sort it, of enjoy the. It was at the start of the season for sure. Like yeah. you couldn't really hear the cars. Like before, like we used to watch this in my apartment, and it's like kind of an obnoxious. Oh, weird! With the screaming, like you have the engine screaming. Yeah, out of your speakers for an hour and a half. 
I'm trying to see if <laughs> I can not... like equate it to like hockey. And, and sometimes when you watch, uh, so like uh, I'm a fan of the Leafs, and when they play other cities, there everyone has different mic setups. Okay. And sometimes you can hear the players. Uh, oh yeah. And, and you can hear the the refs and the coaches and. Uh, some places have a lot of that, and some have very little. And to me, like it doesn't make that much of a difference of mm-hmm. like how much of I hear uh, of it. But I guess in F one, there's really not that much going on aside uh, the visuals uh, in that sort of way. Martin Brando, who is uh, the the lead commentator uh, in British TV, uh, but he's also a, an F one driver uh, mm-hmm. uh, back in the day. He drove alongside Senna um, and, and and many others. Anyway, he. he he said something at the beginning of the year where uh, he, he didn't. He basically didn't, didn't really like the sound of the engines. But as the season progressed mm-hmm. last year, he, he started to appreciate other things that, that you couldn't before. So, for example, at certain corners, you could hear the the screeching tires. You yeah. could he, you could hear people locking up. So it's not. I mean, it, it, he he said something like it's it's. It's it's different. It's not necessarily bad. Mm-hmm. Um, and now you, you just get different appreciation. You he, you can hear the fans for the first mm. time in a little while. On, oh, uh, weird. And F one, you, you couldn't before because the engines the engine noise was so high that it would just drown everything. Uh, uh, sorry for my naivety, but like, yeah. uh, <laughs> where and when uh, does a does a F one fan cheer? Y- y- uh, do you understand what like why? Uh, yeah. I, I might ask that question. Okay. Well. Um, like it is, exci- it is an exciting it, thing to watch. Oh I mean, yeah, these things are flying. Usually, when 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 your when your car or your 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 driver is passing by, like that's that's at least when I when I've been to Grand Prix, when I cheer the loudest yeah. is when the driver that I love comes by comes by. Yeah, and like, ah, yeah you you show yes. them no, it's not. <laughs> but also, like you know, when, when when they take a good like a, a good approach to like, a corner, uh, or when there's a good start at uh, the okay. end of it, obviously, okay. yeah, there, there's there's times. That's, that's really cool. You're going back to your hockey analogy quickly, yeah. I think. I'm not for sure, but I think with the NHL, it's broadcast, carried, and recorded by a bunch of different networks and corporations, You're whereas right. Formula One has something similar to the NFL does with NFL films. They have one company that goes. Ah, uh, okay. Except for Monaco. Monaco okay, is yeah. still so it's I like one it's source, like w- essentially like one microphone yeah, is given to they, all these different broadcasters. They're in charge of one broadcast that goes out to all the different it. countries. Yeah, okay. and they, f- they comment it over it in yeah, they, they German, do their English, thing. and yeah. Yeah, Spanish, yeah, so, and whatever other countries. So, so what the broadcasters, so the different TV networks, they buy like a like a package, mm-hmm. and that package includes like the the world feed, which is what you what you see on the TV most of the time, yeah, yeah. and then whatever you want to put on top of it, so mm-hmm. let's say commentary or special segments, that's up to each broadcaster. Oh, cool! And that no, it is cool in theory for sure, in, in and, theory. It, and it works. But um, in in countries like 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 ours, where we're here, the the broadcaster here by, by that we get is TSN. Mm-hmm. Now. TSN cares very little about Formula One, so not only did they <laughs> so they they buy the package of, of whatever the, the world feed, but they even bu- buy the commentary from the BBC does. They overlay it, um, and sometimes because maybe there's a hockey game before, or there's something else yeah. before, y- the the race starts at say two o'clock, and they s- they only start broadcasting at two uh, at two o five. So you miss uh, the whole start. Okay. Uh, so y- they throw it, in commercial breaks and minimize the race. Down to the corner of the screen oh, because Jesus. because there is not that much a uh, uh, you know or or at least the, you know, the the fanhood of Formula One in Canada is is not as big as in the U.S. or so, or uh, I meant to say the U.K. Same problem in the U.S. Uh, in the U.S. their their the broadcaster is NBC mm-hmm. and NBC does much of the same. They, 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 lots of commercials. Yeah. Not not a lot of like, good quality comment content. Mm-hmm. There's not a lot of that. And what what happens is because there's not a lot of that. You have countries like in the UK, where because there's a lot of fans there, and in Europe around, they get a lot of better coverage, and and it's easier for a fan to become a Formula One fan if you if you get better mm-hmm. coverage okay. over here. If you just tune on, like if if if, if you out of the blue hear about Formula One and and decide to tune in on uh, on a Sunday yeah. just to watch the race yeah. on TV, you're like you might just say this is garbage. I'm switching the <laughs> channel because it's that bad. Yeah, but it's it's not because it can't be better. Ah, okay. Right. It's 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 one of those things, and and I, and I think that that's that's one of my biggest pet peeves with the way the Formula One is broadcast today, and I think that's one of the things that they should change. Mm-hmm. They should focus on that instead of talking about this silliness of you know c- cutting corners here and there yeah yeah 
but 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 then again, I mean, obviously that's not gonna fly because that doesn't. That's at this point they haven't figured out how to make enough money with that. Right. I, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and that's what it all comes down to, isn't it? It all comes down to money. Yeah. Which is uh, Ferrari's pretty happy this week. They they call in their uh, first victory of the season. Yeah. Is finding this loophole. <laughs> yeah. So Marchione was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Today I, or yesterday. I just I just I just read that. <laughs> <laughs> Being granted the loophole, Ferrari. We have our Renault. first victory. <laughs> Ferrari, Renault, and Mercedes have been all granted this loophole concession. But uh, I think Honda had another meeting yesterday, which kind of went well. So what's wh- so what was going to happen? Sorry to cut you off. Is that oh. so? Th- there's right now, as it stands, there's three manufacturers of engines in Formula One, and Honda is set to make their debut next year. But because they're coming in next this year, year or sorry, year. this year, 2015, because they're, they're coming in this year, something in the way that the rules were written did not allow them to make any changes. Hmm. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, uh, to, 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 to the engines. But every single other manufacturer is allowed. Yeah. Doesn't make any goddamn sense. Yeah, well. It, it is what it is. It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know. Honda is fighting hard. It looks like they might get the same same concession there's, so there's another level of this okay. goes into tokens mm-hmm. okay so this year like some sort of currency <laughs> like a yeah. formula yeah. one yeah. currency yeah yeah you okay. say that yeah, these are uh weighted 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 upgrades okay basically each team uh ferrari renault and mercedes are get they get 32 tokens this year because it's mm-hmm. last year they had none there was no mid-season upgrade this year they got 32 tokens so um Basically, if you eight r- as of this year, yeah, eight percent of the parts of an engine, the standard parts, are locked. You cannot can't, change. Can't those change them. Okay. Ever again. Yeah. They're locked. To change. Eight percent, as in like volume that they take up, or effect in, effect of this? number of parts. Okay, number of parts. Okay. Quantity. Yeah. So, of the parts that are allowed to be changed, the ninety-two percent that's left. If you wanted to upgrade all of those. That requires sixty-six points. Sixty-six Formula tokens. One dollars. 66, okay. Yeah, sixty-six yeah. Like that's what tokens. I'm call it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, uh, the sixty-six, 66 <laughs> tokens. Sixty-six F1 bucks. Uh, F1, <laughs> F1 bucks. <laughs> so this season is Ferrari, Renault, and Mercedes' second season. They all get thirty-two tokens okay. to use after they homologize their engine. Okay. Which which there is which no date for. This is what the fight is about. They were supposed to lock down their engine by February twenty-eighth. That's what the FIA thought, but they kind of screwed up in this. <laughs> they thought in like, the ah. wording. They screwed up the wording of their agreement, saying Ugh. last year was February twenty eighth, but they forgot to write in a date this year. Okay. So Ferrari's like, well, we don't. Oh, I, don't I forget. We don't have to lock <laughs> it down till whenever we want. So <laughs> technically, mm-hmm. we're we're probably from the speculation mm-hmm. for Mercedes and Ren- or sorry, Ferrari and Renault at least is we're not going to see their new engines until maybe the fourth, fifth sixth race of this year oh shit yeah because they're just gonna be like non-stop trying to work on it but and then they're gonna deploy it later on the season so they can get points when it matters at the very like on that on that on the on the last chunk rather than the first chunk oh man this yeah. season though being honda's first they're technically not granted any tokens and that's they want those 32 tokens though well, that's what they're em. fighting they for. Want yeah, of course <laughs> there's a pr- i want them shit it seems like <laughs> Everybody wants their tokens, tokens. man. Everybody wants their tokens. Give me a fucking token, Bernie. But give me a token. The question is now: if they get, if they get their thirty-two tokens this year, being their first year, the other teams are gonna be pissed. They didn't get theirs last year. But the way, okay, so the way this breaks down is this year they get thirty-two tokens a team. Okay. And you, uh, at the Before beginning the of the twi- season, like it's like here you go. After they homologize their new engine. I don't know what what does that mean. Hum- Oh. They I don't even know what you they said. They say this is <laughs> like the what is the, it's exact like I heard goblin and, and <laughs> I, I don't know. They say this is the exact specs of every part. Nothing will change. This okay. Is, this is our engine. Okay. So they lock that down. They can run last year's engine this season, which is, they are gonna do, uh, and keep okay. upgrading this engine token free. As soon as they lock down their 2015 engine, yeah. They get so you're saying they haven't to- done that? They haven't done that yet. Nobody has done that yet. <clears throat> It's speculated Mercedes is going to do it at the start of the season so they can maximize 
working for, on next year's next engine year. right away. Okay. And Mercedes it seems all sort of screwy. Well, it's, Mercedes it's has a luxury. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, Mercedes has the luxury of destroying everybody. Well, yeah, they, they have the luxury of like locking their engines early on because they were they just have that much of an advantage already. Okay. Even from last year, they just dominated. Okay. Or yeah, last year it was just a, a, a whole Mercedes g- g- domination. Mm-hmm. And, and anybody actually. Well, Ricardo won with with a red with a twice. Renault engine. He won two races. Yeah, twice, three times actually. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So but the the way this breaks down though is for 2016, mm-hmm. each of those three teams, not including Honda, is going to be getting 25 tokens, 20 for 2017, 15 for 2018. You mean each of the, those manufacturers? Each manufacturer gets the engine. Many that many tokens, and for 2019 and 2020, they're going to get three tokens a year okay and going forward as of right now eight percent of these parts are locked going forward each year more and more eight percent seems low to me but that's there's a lot of parts in there i bet there's <laughs> a lot of parts in there. right because it's it's quantity it's not the, the sort of how important they are yeah right things yeah. that are going to be locked I mean. at this point will be like the block the okay. bore size probably okay maybe yeah. probably there's these are the words stroke, i wish like, i knew yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, the engine block is like the, you know like I, the, yeah, the I imagine I can, I can figure that out. Yeah. yeah, I haven't got a chance to research it that deep, but okay, yeah. <laughs> this is deep enough, I think. Sure. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> enough enough for us to for at least a, speculate for a and make fun of. But the question is now: if Honda doesn't get their thirty-two tokens this year, yeah, do they get them next year when every other team only has twenty-five, mm. and they can play that as an advantage? And last week they mentioned a plan B. Oh, yeah. Could that be their plan B? Could oh that be the plan God. B? Just just completely scrap 2015. <laughs> but I I really do yeah. want to put this forward because we are not we haven't considered. And we talked about this last time we got together that Honda is everybody forgets that Honda are the makers of Asimo. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, I think yeah. I think their plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Is an actual robot. It's a robot. It's, it's a ro- it's a robot. <laughs> it's a robot that no, it's a robot that turns into a car, not a car that is a robot. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? There's there's no, a no. difference. It's a robot that drives a car. <laughs> have you have you seen Asimo? Have you, have you seen Asimo? <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh god. He's a perfect size too. He's like a jockey. He's about like four, yeah. four oh, feet tall. They just oh, have that su- that stupid backpack, but I'm sure they'll figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, I can get rid of that backpack. <laughs> strap it to his chest. Just, yeah. He's a robot. <laughs> oh, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, I was like, I think I know. I was like, no, that guy would fucking totally fit in one of those. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. got like a little cute face. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's blank, but you know, there's I, I, some sort of expression. I, I, I mean, don't, don't, don't Japanese people love that kind of stuff, though? I mean, you, you get the entire Japanese crowd behind. Yo, there's a, there's a fucking that stupid <laughs> movie that we watched with the dogs. What was that? Uh, Red Line? Red, Yo, Redline Red is awesome. I watched <laughs> it the other day. That was amazing. I was seeing the DVD in your basement. <laughs> it's amazing. Yo, there is a picture here of the Osmo conducting a choir. There you go. It can do anything. He can do. He can do it. He, he can, can do drive it. a car. No, but but, but honestly, okay, Osmo can do a lot. Yeah, yeah. It, he, he can run, man. Don't the Japanese run. like go to concerts of for this like one uh, fictional uh, ro- character? robot characters? Yeah, sure. that, that, that have never existed. They never and they pack ex- they pack arenas. They pack stadiums and shit like uh, the for go- hologram. Our, like the gorillas. No, no, uh, no, yeah, 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 like a cartoon character. It's sort of, it, I, I know what you're talking about. It's like a band. So, like, people wrote music, and the, these robots essentially just, like, kind of play, play it. Play it. But and not perform. in the sense that they, they perform it. Right. Uh, and it's not play yeah. it, actually, <laughs> but they perform it. That's really interesting. Speaking about something that we were talking about the last time, yeah. um, I, I looked it up, and. In um, in Iron Man two, because Mike, <laughs> oh, Mike yeah, I made a reference. Yeah, to this. yeah, yeah, That's yeah, right. yeah. In Iron Man two, uh, for some reason, Iron Man does take uh, uh, take uh, he, he he for some reason races on the Monaco Grand Prix. He <laughs> he somehow got a. <laughs> so is it F one? Is it F one? Yeah, it's okay, a, oh, but the, the Monaco Grand Prix Great. is is is, is, is F one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's some, he's, he's somehow, yes. he's somehow, he somehow, and there's a big battle in it. Yeah. Some dude with a whip or the, something. The, he's got the hand whips. Uh, yeah, whatever. Kind of like slugs. Yeah, so, right. so he's t- driving, so. holding whips or what? No, no. The, the, the villain has whips and he, he makes some big ruckus. They're all like electrical. <laughs> he makes a big ruckus and fucks up everything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When, I, when I picture racing video games, that's what that, I picture. That, that it's like going through like a seaside cafe. That, that is Monaco. What? Monaco oh, okay. is a sick race. He's like my, because of that. my nephew, like Iron Man. He like. Iron Man is his shit, right? Yeah. 
I haven't seen that movie yet. I'm sure I will. No, <laughs> I gotta, I gotta you check probably out that should. Scene. It's got F1 in it. Yeah, there you go. Even okay. I knew that. I think yeah, I've seen. Like... I've seen. I think part one and part three actually. <laughs> <laughs> you you missed the one part that had the, the, the F1. The second one yeah. was kind of fucking. Eh, what whatever. Whatever. Can we go back to Asimo? Because that guy yeah. is. <laughs> that guy <laughs> is awesome. <laughs> okay, no, that was a joke. That yeah. was a joke. <laughs> but well, yeah, no. But plan B for 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 the Japanese. I mean, what what I don't like uh, is that they could just come out and say it they, but but they have to go they have to go through this back to backroom dealing and 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 and, and push and shove and, and it's all i think it's because the, of their association with um with ron dennis ron dennis right. yeah, yeah who, who's this guy ron dennis is the, the ceo sorry the ceo of the mclaren group that now they're called actually the mclaren technology group yeah, right. <laughs> they yeah. just it's changed right. it, but it's so it's this, this company, McLaren Cars. They, mm-hmm. they they started as an F1 racing team, and I guess now they've grown really, really big, and and they do a lot of like tech related stuff. Like they just they manufacture a lot of like high tech parts uh, yeah, for many other industries, sensors, yeah. automation. Oh, crazy! Things yeah, like that. things Industrial like that. Industrial so, products. Yeah, yeah. So, but but he he is a notorious snake. This guy. <laughs> and he, he, slithery he, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. He has. He, he's right. a very, he's a very slippery character. And and if you that comes out every time that you see him in an interview. Um. And and I'm sure he he is probably the reason why Magnussen stayed behind. He didn't because if you know when they when they announced the driver lineup. So the driver lineup for McLaren Honda next year, or this year rather, is going to be Fernando Alonso. The best driver on the grid by far, <laughs> and, <laughs> and 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 Jensen Button, but Jensen Button is this British driver. He's a champion, but he hasn't done much since his championship. Mm-hmm. Really, I mean, he's had some some good drives okay. here and there, but he he hasn't done championship winning material stuff. Okay. He's hanging in there. He's hanging in there, but but he's getting old. Uh, old. I mean, he's he's in his what uh, the second half of his thirties. Anyway, that's old in, in, in F one terms. Um, yeah. he, he's getting older. Uh, and there was this young guy that he w- that he was racing with last uh, last year, and he did a pretty good job, c- all things considered. His name is Magnussen, and a lot of people's speculation, and, and th- this goes back to even even Joe Sayward, very very intelligent guy. He's a he's a top notch F one reporter. Back as as f- uh, as far back as maybe a couple of Grand Prix before the like, uh, before the season ended last year, he himself was sure that they were gonna keep Magnussen. Uh, as a yeah. driver, but they kept Button because the British press likes Button because mm. Button Button looks good on posters. He's a good sure. looking guy. Yeah, okay. But they also S- kept they also <laughs> kept Magnussen along as a as a as a, as sort a backup. Of, yeah, as a, as a test driver, reserve okay. driver, and I think that what they want to do is they just want to live this off. Uh, you know, they, they want they want Button to look good for the press this year, and then as soon as this year ends, that's yeah. gonna be the end of He's Button's spots. career for sure. He's yeah, done. Yeah, yeah. is he just not that good like, of a racer? It's, it's just his t- I think his best times are okay, behind can, him. Can you, okay, uh, help me with some lingo yeah. already. Uh, sure. w- okay, uh, uh, is it a driver or a racer or, or a pilot or a pilot? Some people some people call them pilots. Okay, well those people are crazy and should be put <laughs> on their own <laughs> fucking island Actually, and just the just island floats <laughs> away. <laughs> Just, just the way they, the terminology for it, and yeah. even even changes like from you know. Okay, uh, I just don't want to sound language. To language. I yeah, don't, I don't want to sound stupid. Well, in, in Spanish and Italian, and I think French, you call them pilots. Oh, they're, they're pilots. crazy! And and uh, the British call them usually drivers or but racers too. The concrete pilot, yeah. right there. Yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that sounds cool. The pilot. It's a pilot. Yeah. yeah. No, okay. I'm okay with that. <laughs> I think maybe part of this what. Uh, their strategy with this button thing is um, they lost McLaren lost their title sponsor. Okay, they had a Vodafone. Ah, Vodafone. Their, ti- their title sponsor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So there's this like joke meme going around today. Like I showed you <laughs> before this. Yeah. Uh, oh, with the with the with them coming back with Honda when Honda left the sport in '07, I believe. They also had no title sponsor. The livery of the car team. was. Yeah, they pa- they painted the car. As the globe, as the earth, with no. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you were showing that to me. Yeah, right. A lot of people don't didn't like that because it looks silly. Yeah, <laughs> I disagree, but whatever. Yeah. Who cares if it says? I, okay, I I was like, oh, that's cigarette neat. stickers all over it or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's kind of <laughs> stupid like too, but this fucking camel just smoking cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, put it on the car. It'll look cool. The kids will love it. It's a cartoon, right? But yeah, I guess button button makes him look good. Honda wants their points. They want to 
they need to perform to get a title sponsor. Right. And is that sort of? I think a couple of teams don't have title sponsors anymore. But they have like little sponsors, like baby sponsors. Yeah. There's okay. like there's like you know uh, they're not sponsoring out their windshield yet. Like Wait, say, like you take like the Red Bull team. Their Infinity is their title sponsor. The the team official team name is Infinity Red Bull Racing. So yeah. So oh, any any time that you want to talk officially about Red Bull. You're promoting infinity, so that costs a lot of money, obviously. Oh my god! Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Holy crap. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, the title sponsorship is just there as a money maker, and if you're and if you're a top notch team, you can sell your title sponsorship for a lot oh of money. And we're talking about lots and lots okay. of money. Okay. Okay. Lots. So of they money. talked about the other day sense. is not so no, not no. wanting to settle for any for anything. Ferrari they hasn't the had the right sponsor. Ferrari hasn't had a title sponsorship since since the days of Marlboro. I think a, a lot of the uh, the Ford factory Ford. teams don't. Yeah, yeah. Mercedes. Mercedes, Mercedes is AMG Mercedes, so they're they're promoting AMG, I guess. That's true. Patronus. What's what AMG? Tuner, isn't yeah. it? Sorry. What what is AMG? Oh, AMG is a AMG tuning is house. A factory tuner, not oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, factory yeah. tuning. Yeah, house. Yeah, the factory mm-hmm. tuning house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they're th- promoting themselves essentially. Yeah. Oh, crazy! Y- you know, a- a- AMG. Like they, I think so. They, they basically take so. So there's there are some cars that there's some Mercedes cars that mm-hmm. are that have an AMG version. Yeah. So you you start with a basic car and you just like either add stuff to it or take away stuff to it to make it perform better on the track yeah Yeah. Mm -hmm. but anyway cool that 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 is it's something that we're watching uh because that's still up in the air there's a lot of talk about what it might might not uh end up being their title sponsorship because they pretty much earlier in the year in the few years they've based the whole livery um the livery is uh, how they paint their cars yeah around who their title sponsorship is. Ah, okay, so gotcha. we still don't know. I think people are just making a big deal because we, we just still don't know how the McLaren cars are going to look like. Mm-hmm. We can, we don't have anything to imagine yet. Um, hopefully uh, we will do see. Do they generally stick to like a, a, a th- like did they do anything radical from like year to year or is that is that common? Like I assume I assume like like yeah. any sort of sports team has the same generic colors, but they might, they might tweak them here and there. It's, it's some right. some do, some don't. I, I imagine Ferrari's red. Yeah, Ferrari so has like, always been red. Right. Along with the title sponsorship, a lot of the right. Let's see, um, the Martini now with the, uh, being with Williams, they yep. joined this year, changed the whole color scheme of the car yep. to Martini okay. colors. Yeah. Martini, I like, think. Martini, like, like the, like the, like they make, yeah, the martini drinks. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, <laughs> next. Sorry, I try to hold in that fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, yeah. sure. Yeah, that's their title sponsor. But <laughs> th- this comes back to. Oh, sorry. Martini, <laughs> like the drink? No, no, no not the drink. There's, there's, there's a brand <laughs> of. Uh, they make more mostly vermouth, yeah. and vermouth ah, okay. goes into martini. Ah, and that, okay. They are from Italy, Northern Italy, specifically Turin, which is a city where the martinis come from. But anyway, yes, okay. you're talking about the same thing, but <laughs> not. <fucking> crazy. <laughs> yeah. But they are the staple martini. Okay, <laughs> got it. But yeah, essentially, title sponsors do change delivery for sure. Oh wow. Yeah, I think Ferrari is the only one that has hung on to that red that color. Red yeah. Color. For for because but but actually it's 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 interesting where that comes from if you don't know. Um, when Formula One started and when Grand Prix racing, because Grand Prix racing uh, in itself is older than Formula One. Okay. They just now Grand Prix a Grand Prix race is part of the Formula One calendar because that's it was defined to be that they just uh, took all the European Grand Prix and formed it into the One World Championship and that's what we know as a Formula One today. Mm-hmm. Um, but before that, your country each country had a racing color. Uh, so as in. You know how uh, when Italy uh, plays soccer football, yep. um, they are, they all blue, blue they, they, yeah, because yeah. because for for uh, I think team sports back in the day, like at, at the beginning at the end of last century, mm-hmm. the beginning of this century, or no, actually at the beginning of last century, <laughs> um, they um, whenever they went to like compete around Europe. They each team would have their own colors. Mm-hmm. Same happened in racing. So British uh, racing so yeah, green. So, so British, uh-huh. British, there's British almost racing like green. your uh, Mike. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's that's British racing that's green. ugly green color. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the the Italians yeah. use what what they call rosso corsa. I think that, that that's a, that's a pretty good rosso corsa. Yeah, cool. Racing okay. red. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. yeah. So racing red. Uh, the the French would would um they the race the racing color was like a baby blue. Okay. Uh, the old Bugatti cars were, and 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 Mercedes and and Auto Union, uh, back in the day. So th- the, today they call they call them Audi. Mm-hmm. Um, they raced with s- the silver. They were this. They were the silver arrows. Silver yeah, it looked arrows. sick. Those those cars looked sick because they were their co- their racing color was silver. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And that's why most <laughs> Mercedes are. today are still yeah, silver. Oh, cool. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I, I know. I'm yeah. learning shit all the time. <laughs> <laughs> all the time. But 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 obviously, I mean, once big money got involved, yeah. then you you were chasing after after, and you believe it that especially the 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 lower performing British teams they dip their the <laughs> British racing green as soon as they got a <laughs> chance of <laughs> some big money. Finish with this shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like red is like like a red hard car is that's it, man. Yeah. It's cool. It came from Formula One. It came from Grand Prix oh, Racing. Man. That's that's what you think of a sexy red car. Yeah. You're thinking of Formula One. God damn it. <laughs> I'm going to drop that knowledge somewhere. Yeah, drop it. Own it. <laughs> Own it. Th- th- say that it was you that came up with it. <laughs> <laughs> I probably will. <laughs> I, I want to talk about something because um, right now, the, among all these speculation and all this of what should be done, I want to... I, I want to take some time and, and and bring bring forth some ideas that that, that I picked up from uh, Reddit, really. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> Reddit user Tritium N two LOL <laughs> says that <laughs> these names. I just, it's just like yeah. names like PM your tits. Yeah. Like, it's like who are you? Yeah. <laughs> like, Shit on my chest. Yeah. LOL. Like great names. So so Tritium N two LOL says that they should bring. Uh, a, a driver's wait glo- is, this a, is this a call out? <laughs> Are you, is this a call? This is great. No, yeah, <laughs> he, he says he says that they should bring up a, a driver's global chat button so that <laughs> a, glo- <laughs> a global and because and because right now the way that it works is that you have the drivers and and they get radio communication from 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 the paddock all the time. Yeah. Um, actually, less more now than before. A little more strict this year. Yeah, a little bit more strict this year. Yeah, they're not allowed to tell the drivers how to drive, but they they can still give them some. Uh, you know, the, the weather is like this or whatever. We're going to need you to come into the pits. This is also an example of a giant, gigantic rule change that came in halfway through this season. Oh, but that's anyways. so weird. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, actually, if, if we talk about that, yeah, before uh, drivers, uh, the complaint was that drivers were asking the pits uh, or asking the, 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 the pit wall too much information. They were They were essentially saying, how did I do last lap? What can I do? Like, what kind of settings can I tweak? To, to, to make it better next time instead of actually like driving the car they were right. being told right. essentially how to drive the car that's so squirrely man yeah, that's yeah. crazy that, that, that's squirrely and, 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 and a lot of people frown upon that I frown upon that and that's why they brought this restriction so that now all those instructions are not really allowed to be told but whatever they say on their code like who knows right but even really instructions like it, you're catching up to the guy in front of you the guy behind you is driving better mm-hmm. none of that's really allowed anymore Really, yeah. but in in lieu of that and all the empty airspace that they're gonna ha- that they have, <laughs> I, th- <laughs> I think that this is a very good idea. Bring uh, have a button where it, it just essentially jumps into to, to the chat, and all of the drivers can hear you. And so when you're overtaking somebody, yeah. oh you motherfucker, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fucking pull you. See, you I, play, I play a lot of video games. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, and to me, like exactly. I expect like a HUD, like where I am on the track. That sh- and, like, they should that. bring that, and they should make that shit available. Okay, uh, I think it's a really interesting thing for some for for someone to take that out because like as soon as you have any sort of communication uh, between like a driver or uh, say like even a player and its coach or right. like its team that sort of represents it. Uh, I always think of hockey because right. I like hockey. But it seems like if you allow communication, you've opened up the floodgates uh, to, <laughs> to a certain degree. Yes. of Because inf- like, as soon as you're able to talk, it's like, well, I can say anything. Yeah. So it seems kind of ridiculous mm. uh, to me, at least, because I, I don't know the sport. But like, See, I, don't, I don't know hockey <clears throat> or football. I know in football. I though. mean, the coach can just yell at you. Just like, dog, take the fuck out of here, you piece of shit. But I know in the NFL, the coach... Yeah, the coach has a button that he can talk, he can talk into the, into the quarterback's ear. Yeah, but the and the other time the, they're trying to read each other's lips and shit. Like he's, he's oh yeah, they got like the books in front of their the face <laughs> and stuff like that. But, uh, so what I was thinking was like, it's, what if so? There's there's certain information that you do not want. Like apparently these people don't want the the play, uh, the the driver to know, right? So in terms of why don't you stop communication instead install 
this sounds like a ridiculous idea, but install certain things that would tell you the information that you would want the the driver to. That, know. I think that's fantastic. I think I actually think that yeah. that should exist. Oh, we see, have. They we, need to fucking yeah, hire me. This no. is what I'm about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what I'm about. Yeah. No, for sure. But uh, why why can they like just build like a uh, some sort of a like display a on the helmet? Yeah, like a HUD on the helmet that tells them all kinds of relevant uh, information, and mm-hmm. then uh, you you can profit from that. You can you can have like a cam like you know. Oh, it looks so cool. And and. and <laughs> An overlay of say like the the the, the overhead camera mm-hmm. with like the information that the drivers are getting. I think I think it would be fantastic. I think a big that's gonna take some adoption though. Like okay, yeah. so this year, yeah. the steer, you've seen the crazy steering wheels, right? Uh, wait, aren't they like really kind of small and look yeah. something up? Just yeah. give yourself yeah, an yeah, example. Yeah, but yeah. up at, before last year though, there was a like basically like look up a 2014 like one actually. 2014 something that looks like F1 this steering. clock radio you have up here, basically like red clock oh, letters. Fuck. Oh fuck! Okay, so Holy what, shit! Okay, are this you looking is crazy? Okay, put, throw up where you're looking at because okay, yeah, good call, good call. This yeah. year, yeah, okay. So uh, if you see, like, see this one here on the the left. This one. This is up until 2014. A lot of uh, every car had this that Holy small display. Shit. But okay, go go up again. Yeah. Scroll up. See that one? This one. See see that now they have. A, a little screen. They're, yeah, they have a full oh, LCD great. Is that display. Touch? Is that a touch screen? No, no but oh. it shows. No, it, well, it, it does it, show them a lot of data. I, and I, mm-hmm. There is there are rumors that, that that people like Lewis Hamilton were like bidding for this to like have Twitter and shit on it. Oh please! <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm actually just kind of sort of assuming. <laughs> Hashtag oh. where's Rasko? Hashtag where's Rasko? <laughs> I, I'm assuming that these are like all nitro. Like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like I it's just like what NOS? Okay. <laughs> There's at least one of them that that does something similar, w- oh, which really? is the DRS button. Okay, crazy. Uh, wh- where where would the DRS button be here, Danny? Do, do, do you do you see it? They're all different. Uh, uh, no. Oh yeah, that's huge. Okay, go over scroll here. Around. So that that is for brake balance. So they can adjust the brake balance, like going into a corner, going out of a corner, differential. They can adjust all kinds of stupid settings. Oh, so they wow. can, how fast the engine is revving. How like how yeah, it's okay, ridiculous. See his the center dial there. Yeah, I think that controls probably the display. Just, just get a look at how many uh, knobs and there's stuff. so many doodads. Yeah, yeah, and then again. there's 12, 12 positions on that center knob alone. <laughs> and some drivers have like a plus one, minus one button, so you can like do even more. Yeah, see one see, plus. These are, these are the oh brakes. My God. See, see, they got a yeah plus one pl- and my, and ten. <laughs> I don't even know. See, what I'm looking at box, some sort of spaceship. Box here. up at the top left. There are boxes okay. for yeah, it. Look at That's this. a pit this is limiter. A, this is a thing. It's like a page. It turns the page. Yeah. You're just like, okay, these uh, are, oh, break wow. balance. DRS. Holy okay, so man. so DRS. Okay, so this this must be must mean that whoever so driving this like a, has a little like lever like a shoulder so button at the back of this. At the back of this, there's also like paddles. There's all kinds of paddles. Right. So this this is Clutch. a crazy wow, crazy this thing. Is fucking nuts clutch shifter yeah. just having to deal with this and like uh, going like hundreds of kilometers an hour imagine imagine that for two hours and some races mm-hmm. like you're talking about like these things are unlike everything that you've ever driven obviously i don't know so i i played pod racer <laughs> <laughs> I'm nintendo 64 yeah you had to get like the special cartridge just to make sure it worked on your 64 that was pretty fast man i don't know <laughs> I think this. I think a Formula One car would be a bit quicker than that. Ah, <laughs> I don't know, man. Galaxy far, far away. They had some crazy shit. My point, looking at this, anyways, is that the visor display is never happening because okay. half the teams didn't even adopt the LCD screen this year. Not half, but quite a few, including some of the top teams. And then you can't what see it on the that, Like, uh, uh, would it be uh, that much of an improvement already? I mean, like, obviously more information is I better, but, so. like, a, a racer already has to, like, sort of keep his eye on it. No texting while you drive. Like, that's our shit. Like, don't tweet while you... Oh, no, that, 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 that Twitter was a, it's a joke. Oh, it was a joke. Yeah, but was a joke. I, was, <laughs> I took it seriously because I don't know what it was. I was like, oh, shit. It's no, so like, of, of yo, just pass this asshole. <laughs> Hashtag LOL. <laughs> that was the dude we looked at in the uh, Drake jacket. Oh, at the start this there. is his? No, 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 no. no. That's just, uh, this is that's a not his. That's wheel? a Sauber engine. But even if you okay, if you look at the two Mercedes wheel. wheels between him and his own teammate, they're so oh, wow. That yeah. that whole Drake yeah. thing oh, is yeah. though like that dude, he he just said, I think on Friday he, he announced he's gonna be recording some hip hop. <laughs> oh, that's great! With uh, yeah, October's yeah. very own, October's very own, right? Possibly here in Toronto. Yeah. Oh, wow. like he's, he's tweeting about his. Wow, look at this guy he's here. Rocking yeah. the guitar. That's great. 
Oh, he hashtag music therapy. This Dude, is scroll, crazy. Scroll down a little bit. Yes. He's he's a this famous is, guy. He's a Formula One driver. He's like he's a current champion. He's okay, our, our okay, champion. So, uh, he's I our don't champion. Know. <laughs> I don't know these things yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Soon I will. Yeah. Yeah, Louis is a champion and he's he's been talking to Drake. If you look at all these dramatic photographs, let's He's got a, like a professional photographer following him around. It. It's look at that. I don't know. You uh, need to have some sort of art school background to. Yeah. Look at Hashtag that. Hashtag winter training. Yeah. Wow. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> such a candid photograph. So kind no. of I don't know. The the, uh, the 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 megapixels are getting pretty high on cameras these days. So <laughs> true. It's not hard to make things look. Uh, profesh. You know. Yeah, profesh. Yeah. His uh, his father was in the news today. Oh yeah, what was his father doing? <laughs> he's saying that uh, he's. Baja? I think he's pretty confident that Lewis can lock up this championship by mid-season this year. Oh my god, that was his he's statement. Running <laughs> that his was mouth. his statement this afternoon. He's just running it was about, maybe his it was mouth. yesterday morning. But <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Look so at like, this." You know, <laughs> except for Lewis just had some bad luck this year. That's what that's what set him back. Yeah, we're gonna play this because this what looks hilarious. Is it, what's with that hat? Oh, I don't. Can have we sad. hear this? No. Okay. Well, we don't. We don't. Oh wait. We, I wasn't expecting a British person and I'm scared. <laughs> 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 yeah. Whoa. Wait. Yeah. I actually want this thing. How do you enter this contest? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You, you probably have to be British. <laughs> yeah. As more yeah. things in Formula One. <laughs> I am British. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> Give it to me. <laughs> oh. That's fantastic. <laughs> that's just Oh, that was yeah. That was a that was a uh, a little while ago, in December. <laughs> oh my gosh! Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> sorry for anyone that's uh, watching the video of this because this shit is disconnecting a bunch. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get a better ca- we'll, we'll get a better camera next time. It it they, we're just starting today. It's great. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. So working out the kinks. Talk, talking about expanding Formula One though and, and reaching to new audiences. You have something to say about Haas. Newman Haas? Yeah. The NASCAR guy? The NASCAR guy. The guy who's coming to F1 from America? Oh, yeah. He's going he's gonna, he's gonna to show Put them Europeans how to do it, how we do it in the U.S. of freedom. Uh, who, who? <laughs> 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 wow. Yeah, no, that's what it is. What, what, uh, what's this guy's name? Newman Haas? Newman Haas. H-A-A-S. Like a German. Oh, that is so But uh, He said this like a week ago before... I think before a lot of this Honda shit kicked off, saying that uh, coming into this sport as a constructor is insanity and will probably never happen again. Wait, he doesn't think Echo is he a car or a person? He is a human being who <laughs> owns he owns a NASCAR a successful NASCAR racing team. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Trying to I looked up pictures and all I just saw was cars, so I just I thought w- maybe he was a car. The way he competes in NASCAR is he outsources his development. He buys okay. his engines chassis and everything else from yeah. from other people and that's a lot of teams in nascar that's a, that's allowed there that's a yeah yeah there's a big thing and it's allowed in f1 too mm-hmm. this is the model he's bringing to f1 there's like uh caterham failed they were building engines up until last year mm-hmm. uh marisha failed auctioned off their warehouse so he's coming in with this new strategy he's buying formula one power units or sorry ferrari Ferrari power units and mm. gearboxes, gearboxes, <coughs> a whole drivetrain basically from Ferrari. Okay, chassis from I'm not sure where. At, at the beginning, when when when, they, when this was still a very early days, they were even thinking of bringing in Dallara. No, either the, yeah, Dallara to make their chassis. And then and, and but back then they they basically got told that no, it's uh, Formula One is is about constructors. They at least have to make the the chassis in house. I think that's still mm-hmm. the case. I would like to think that that's still the case. I mean, we, we really don't want F1. Because the moment that they that they let this slide, the moment that they let somebody to just come and outsource everything, then then F1 is just going to become a, a, a spec series. Yeah. Like 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 IndyCar, like uh, uh, like pretty much anything out there that's that's a spec series. Everything else, every yeah. everything every 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 other open wheeler is a spec series except for Formula One, and it's true sense. I agree. It should yeah. be about the development. Yeah. 
Engines are that's it's ridiculous at this point. He's right; it's insanity. Yeah. You cannot build one. But it, it's, well, yeah, of course, yeah. So, but but don't, don't come in. Nobody's expecting you to go to, to come in as a as a as a build uh, as a builder of an engine and a car from the get go. That that is insanity, and that's why we have several manufacturers of, of engines, and and there are more that want to come in. Obviously, um, I don't think there are, but. <laughs> What would I think? Uh, but that, but I think that's what B- Bernie's game plan I- is coming. It's just eliminate that's the his little game teams. Plan, but I don't think he's selling it. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I don't know how they're gonna be able to do it. But but uh, ho- hopefully, I mean, y- you you were talking about that picture that somebody posted on Reddit uh, the o- uh, the other day so recently about the difference in in sponsors. Uh, between two thousand and seven oh, yeah. and two thousand and fourteen, is is, is it? Yeah, two thousand and seven. There were six engine manufacturers. <laughs> yeah, and about fifteen major sponsors. There's cigarette cigarette uh, advertising is not allowed anymore. Oh, yeah. see if I can pull this up. Yeah, I got it right here. Oh boy. Yeah. So well, yes. It w- when they disallowed so cigarette advertising, then a lot of money left F one. Um, but b- but let me ask you this question, Danny. Do you remember who the 2007 world champion was? I don't. I was too young, man. I wasn't into the sport as I have been in the last do, do four or five years. Have you have you heard? At of that it? point, there was no internet. Yeah. I was like, literally VCRing these races. <laughs> I would be, like, every weekend, I'd go through the TV guide that came in the newspaper <laughs> and look at the sun at Sunday. We used to get uh, s- the Speed Channel used to be on oh, yeah. cable up oh, here, crazy. right? Before they went yeah, to that's right. specialty or whatever, it used to be on there. And I check every weekend <laughs> and see if there was a race on. I DCR them and watch it when I. Oh, a weird question, I'd but miss, like when, when, when you were younger and, and watching all these, uh, like, did you have anyone else uh, like telling you about it? Like, did you have friends or family really. that I, you I just, just you just liked it? Yeah, I was just drawn to it somehow. Oh, crazy. When I was uh, cool. sixteen, I worked at a hardware store. Yeah, and there was this old guy. I think his name was John. He was about sixty-seven, sixty-eight. One day we were working on, uh, I guess it was, a, it must have been a Monday. Yeah. And he is like a zombie, right? I was like, like, are you all right? Like, he's really old. He was, he was retired, right? He did yeah, it part time yeah. for extra cash. And he's like, no, he's like, I had to stay up. I was up till like two in the morning watching Formula One. And then and you're like, I want to stay up late. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the, the first guy I met that oh, was actually into F1 here. Yeah. Oh, wow. My, my so first Formula One. He was an English guy. He moved here from England. Oh, oh okay. yeah. So that makes sense. Br- this was yeah, British fans are like British. Mm-hmm. Are, are, like, you, you get a lot of racing. Yeah, yeah. This yeah, was like yeah, 11 yeah. years ago when I worked there. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> so quite a while ago. I would uh, talk about it with him. Yeah, well, my introduction to F1 was like when I was a little kid. But that's like I, I told you, South America. F1 is big in South America. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's bigger definitely than than, than it is here, uh, and, and it's it's so big. And, and we've had uh, from South America. There's been so like so many big names that people get behind that mm-hmm. that it's embedded itself into um in, into popular culture into into the, the, the things that people say idioms people have like when for example when when you want to describe something that's going fast people people go like oh that's going fast like that that was faster than an f1 car yeah, right yeah. like <clears throat> uh, i remember my mom when she was visiting um a few years ago uh my girlfriend was driving down because we were like in detroit yeah and uh I, like, over there the, the speed limit is a little higher or whatever uh, anyway but we were just driving down the, the freeway um, and, and, and my mom was like, oh shit, like your girlfriend, she's a, she's like an old, she's like a Filipaldi cause she was driving really fast. Yeah. Filipaldi is a, a Brazilian F1 driver from the seventies. Oh, so crazy. that was in the back of my mom's mind. She just said like, oh, like you, you. so oh, it's well, in South America, crazy. in South America is different, right? Like yeah, if yeah. You, you, just because you're exposed to it from, from early on. Okay. And when I was, when I was a little kid, um, Senna died and, and Senna, the more you start getting into F1, the more this name is going to yeah. start popping up because he's, he's, I guess, the closest that we get to one of the greats. Okay. So he's, he's the Wayne Gretzky of F1, uh, let's put it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, uh, and he was he was huge. It was uh, like basically when he died, he was brought back to uh, to Brazil. And this thing is crazy. Like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of people went out to the street. It was declared like uh, they declared like National Day of Mourning. Like the, the whole country shut wow. down. Yeah, it was a big deal, and 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 it just by. I'm pretty sure when Wayne Gretzky dies, <laughs> plus if he never does, there's yeah. gonna be a, fu- a national holiday. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna put him on coins and shit. Like, <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> the big the big not? thing with Senna's death though was it was in competition. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, so it right. kind of like made room for other people to come in and take that spot or try to, like that number one or. 
it's ever since people uh, have been compared to Senna, but I don't think I think more people in general agree that Senna was the best driver ever than than anybody else. Okay. It was a different era too. It was yeah. When you fought the car and shifted with your hand and a foot clutch. There, uh, w- okay. there were no hydraulics for the for no. the turning. Like you had to like and instead of like like switching gears like this, right, you right, had to like right. actually do deal with a gearbox and do a million things in your head and yeah. That's why I want I love this idea of going back to putting some power into these cars. Right. Bat tires, heavy yeah, downforce. Bring it back, right. bring it back to the old days. Something you have to fight. That's, yeah. that's what you that's see. The, it's almost like, uh, like a weird relationship out. between uh, the driver and uh, the sort of the beast that he rides. Uh, so, yeah. like, uh, something we talked about last time right. uh, was the rela- that relationship yeah, be- that's right. be- between the driver and, and, and uh, the vehicle. And how much is the driver and how much is the car? Yeah, exactly. And to me, like, from an outsider's perspective, like, like to me – because of I, because I don't know it, mm-hmm. it's no different than NASCAR, uh, where like everyone sort of has the same looking car. Mm-hmm. All the drivers are probably on the same sort of level, and right. it's just depending on the day. Mm-hmm. It's like I got a cold, so I'm gonna fuck up this race, or you know, whatever. Uh, so, so what is that? Is, is there even something that difference is is very like it, it, it's markedly different in, in okay. Formula One. It's um, yeah. with, with Formula One, you have you have cars that I I, I guess we we. We put it this way the last time, or I put it this way the last time. Um, a Formula One, um, you're not given a car and told race a car. Or I mean, like uh, NASCAR, you the teams are given a car, basically a stock car, and they're told, okay, take this stock car and race with it. Mm. With Formula One, uh, the teams are given a set of rules, and they're told build a car that fits these rules. Mm-hmm. And then go race it. And because of the different interpretations that can be done to the same set of rules, you know, there's some leeway with the rules. Some teams, some years, end up building a car that's superior by far than all the other teams, okay. right? And that's what happened last year with Mercedes. So Mercedes, they just have, they just had such a dominant car that even if you put uh, a subpar driver, let's say they in number in, in that, well. they would still do very well. Okay. They might not necessarily be winning races every time, but they they could st- still have. They had the machinery to do a very good job. Mm. Now, obviously, obviously, uh, and and a lot of people w- when they're confronted with this, they're like, well, then then it's more about the car, but. It is and it isn't because mm-hmm. then you create uh, as a good driver. If you're a good driver, and and if you if you have lots of skills and you had your and you let your skills show and you're magnificent on track and and you've proven your way like coming from the lower formula like the the, the feeder series or and then into a shitty car and with a, and you're given a shitty car and you can still manage to like do some crazy shit with a shitty car, yeah. then teams that have a lot of money and a lot of budget to create a championship winning car will notice you and eventually give you a seat. So there's the logic behind that and saying that maybe it, it is still about the driver, but it just... It well, I, I mean, it's got to at some point because... It has to be. It, I, it, it takes me back to when I saw episode one Star Wars for the first time <laughs> when I was a young kid. <laughs> yeah. And like, you're like, oh my God, this fucking little kid can drive a goddamn pod racer. It's like, obviously some people were just born to... And to be able to do that because it's not an easy task, and that comes out in F one a lot. There yeah. are a lot. There are some racers that are like native. They just they just they have just it in no. They, they just, just have know. it in, in their bones, and mm-hmm. that's Lewis Hamilton. I think he falls under that category. He's mm-hmm. one of the he's one of the naturally talented racing drivers. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I think that <clears throat> a lot of people would argue that at this point in time, it is too much the cars. Mm-hmm. Ah, okay, so all these all this controversy about the F one strategy group and whatever is that they're they're trying to bring in measures that perhaps push the balance a little bit more in favor of the driver mm-hmm. of the driver making. Now, has it always been like this sort of sway? Uh, it's always a dance. Yeah. It's always a dance. Yeah. So it's yeah. like it how much of this <laughs> and trying to find that happy medium, but not right. necessarily the medium. Uh, it, between no, it's them. Just wh- whatever would work best. Uh, most of the reason for most of those rules, though. Is safety right? Right, yeah. Because obviously, you you want to keep these people safe and alive. And over alive. time, I think other features of the car take over and create safety. That I don't know. Right. It's almost like how in hockey. So like recently, there were some changes mm. where uh, uh, the icing, for instance, mm. like they don't want players to chase the puck mm. uh, if someone's iced it uh, because what can sort of happen afterwards right. result in serious injury. And so therefore, Just colliding or what? Uh, colliding and concussions now concussions are like a big hot topic where like you don't a concussion can 
ruin your life and uh, and change yeah. your brain chemistry. So yeah. uh, in, in that sort of vein, uh, that in in lieu of safety, you've now changed the game. Okay, but now now, now let's open this kind of worms, because by making some of the rule some of those rules. Mm -hmm. You do constrain what the players can do. Totally, right? No, no, and, it and changes then, the game does fundamentally. It, does it? Does it lose a little bit of the spark? Does it lose a, a little bit of? Depend uh, obviously, you know depending what I mean. on what yeah. it sort of it, it it is, right? And the narrative right now in Formula One is that basically we, I think, you know, Formula One is a is a young sport, youngish sport that's mm -hmm. only been around for what 60, 70, 60 years, uh, ish, um, because cars have only been around for so long, um, but. It's getting to a point where all these rules that maybe were at one point or another uh, put in place either for safety or to, to make sure that nobody had an unfair advantage, um, are they still relevant? Have, relevant. They, have they gone the whole way? Mm. Have they gone too much in one direction where now it's, it's making the, the sport more boring, more, um, more predictable? You know, yeah. yeah. So, so that's that, that, that's going to be a hot topic all year round. Always. Yeah. I feel like that's like a, an underlying theme of. Uh, sort of any sort of sport nowadays. Oh, for sure. Technology versus you know where we want the sport to actually be. Yeah. Especially with what happened to Jules Bianchi this season. Yeah. It's pretty terrible. Yeah. Nobody wants to see that. That's yeah. He's he he might die. Like he's still in a coma, unresponsive. So uh, it, it, we we definitely don't want to see that. Um, but at the same time, there's there's people like Joe Sayward. Again, we're talking about him. Uh, highly respected that the other day I was listening to uh, one of his podcasts, and he, he brings the notion that, yes, it's sad and it's tragic, but it, it's printed at the back of every single ticket for a race. Motor race, like motorsports are, are dangerous. Mm -hmm. you, you, there, there are, like, no matter how safe you make the car, you There's always a risk. It's, yeah, it's still it's flying. Yeah, yeah. You, 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 how, you, how fast are these cars going? So it de depends. Some of them three thirty at the miles at or the kilometers? Kilometers. kilometers an hour. At but the at the at the max, I guess the yeah, fastest it, tracks. But the the the, the like most Italy and Canada. Yeah, and and the most impressive thing is not how far these cars go down the straight, but actually how fast they can take they some can corners. Take corners. Yeah. They can take corners. No kidding. And like just they can take corners so fast that they they create sometimes ladder G's of four, yeah, five, yeah, totally six G's. Just like yeah. And some drivers say that it's like it it, it it's almost like going to space. Well, it almost <laughs> feels like your head weighs as much as your entire body, and it's being <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jeez, <it's> Louise. <laughs> so. So it, it is a crazy sport, mm -hmm. and it, and it's not a sport that should be taken lightly. And whoever it goes out there as as a racing driver to drive needs to have that awareness. But but obviously, I mean, there's there's there, it's a thin line that you have to thread. Totally. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So yeah, going back to Haas here, you said um, like I don't know maybe. Well, obviously, the reason for this whole engine change was to try to bring more manufacturers with uh, green consciousness into the sport. But does, does promote, it... Promote and develop... Oh yeah, we talked about this last yeah. time. Promote and develop hybrid technologies, yeah. but... Well, what I'm saying is... Does it, it, that, that just seems like they're, they're trying to say that F1 has a point to prove. Does F1 he really have a point to prove with all this, or is it nonsense? I think they shouldn't. Yeah. They should be the pinnacle. Burn yeah. all the gas... <laughs> Go as fast as you can. Yeah, yeah. no, I actually agree with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm as as green as the next guy. Like I buy my Tide cold water detergent <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah. But like, this is the kind of thing. It's like, no, man. This is yeah. this seems like a legitimate. If, if everyone was driving Formula One cars, I would have been like, yeah, probably. Yeah, you know? right. But they, they, throw, they, throw that green sticker they, on there. They can they can they can shit that whole green argument to tears and and and. and Put it in the garbage because they're spending way more gas and, and they're polluting the planet way more with just the, the hauling um, all the equipment yeah. from one place to the <laughs> other in like these airplanes yeah. the, uh, going around the world and hosting a racing series. Yeah, it, it generates way more that they're not then, doing then anything the cars to offset. Themselves. Plus, yeah, right. I, I took an airplane to the last race myself. <laughs> you mean like, yeah. 120,000 people showed up on that island in Montreal? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. So. So it's, it's if it's gonna be if it's gonna for be green planes. I'm, <laughs> I'm doing it. Yeah, there's green no planes. point of having these cars be green. Yeah, yeah, at all. But other than to develop the green technology, but it has to be green technology that 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 merits development. It can't just be like yeah, we're, we're oh, let's make these tears and cares and whatever that most yeah. cars are probably never gonna have. 
But if you look at this, 2007, six engine manufacturers. The, they moved on. Honda dropped out. Toyota dropped out. BMW dropped out. Caterham came in. They failed. They didn't even try to build this new type of engine. They managed to attract Honda back. So they got four now. But so in the past, <coughs> whatever, a few months, there's been uh, rumors about VW group companies joining F1. Audi and Porsche. Holy shit. There's been rumors about both. They both race in Le Mans endurance type racing. I, th- I have a so thought that it's going to be that is going to be Audi before Porsche. See, but but the head of VW today mm-hmm. made an attempt to squash all those rumors and said, no, that is not happening. He said, um, Porsche, he said, absolutely is sticking to LMP1. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Porsche believes that it's the future, that uh, F1's in trouble. That uh, F1 is in trouble. F1 is in trouble. Yeah. Um, poor, they think LMP1 is the future. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know. Nobody's going to sit down and, uh, and watch uh, watch endurance racing. That's not going to happen. Is that like an all-day, two-day, oh, three-day? Oh, they did 24-hour yeah, races. and 24-hour races. That's <laughs> fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's, <Yeah. laughs> That's really fucking so dumb. As far, so Volkswagen is not really a racing brand. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they they don't have a racing pedigree. Neither is uh, Honda, really. Like I'm, s- I just Honda, imagine. No, I just are, are, are you really kidding me? They, okay, they are, but no, H- Honda. Uh, I forget his name is uh, Sachihiro Honda. He was uh, the the guy that, that turned Honda. Uh, actually, the, the Honda guy, the main Honda guy. The, um, he he was around like back at the beginnings of Formula One, and and he was basically the first non-European. Uh, to come with any kind of clout from Japan to race in Europe and to race in Formula One, it's, Honda has racing built into its 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 DNA even more so than Toyota. Their bikes. Have you seen that new NSX? It's pretty lo- badass looking. Oh well, that's that's what they're gonna be looking to sell when with this entry to Formula oh One for yeah. sure. <laughs> but, but 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 Honda has a racing pedigree and Audi has a racing pedig- pedigree. This is the my next point. Rumors have been swirling about Audi. They think, well, a lot of people think they're leaving the Le Mans type racing because they've been dominating. They have almost as many titles as Porsche now. The last bunch of years, they've won a mm. bunch of times. And Stefano Domenicali, who was the team principal of Ferrari, is now, I don't know exactly, but feel he filled a major role at Audi. Okay. Yeah. So these okay. are the rumors, but okay. the VW group says no. Oh, they're gonna be. S- they're gonna continue to sandbag us. They long might as be sandbagging yeah. all day. Yeah, they could be working on this engine all right now. All, all the bags. <laughs> yeah, they could be working on this engine right now. Okay. He, but he, he seemed like no. Here's another extrapolation that I have. Okay, extrapolate away. Oh, yeah, extra- oh, extrapolate. Oh, yeah. My favorite. Because because who is under the uh, the Audi uh, umbrella right now? Yeah. Lamborghini. So Lamborghini is under the, the the Audi umbrella, and 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 and, and Dietrich Matzis or whatever his name is, he, he has Toro Rosso, but I don't I don't think he's gonna be uh, looking to hang on to Toro Rosso for much longer. So I could see, um, maybe Audi coming back and racing not under Audi but under a Lamborghini, um, the Lamborghini badge. To sell more Lamborghinis because they've fallen down. Lamborghini hasn't yeah. been doing as well because they, uh, they haven't been as innovative as, as 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 Ferrari has, and they haven't been getting as much press. Um, yeah. So so they might be willing to like, just bring back another Italian team. The infrastructure is there. All they have to do is go buy it out, get some get some Germans to actually fix the team, make it competitive, and 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 get them winning races under under the Lamborghini badge. And how cool would that would that be? To see like to see Lamborghini racing in F one, I think that would be super. For me, I got the. Oh, yeah, I'm down. <laughs> well, I got the German blood. Yeah. In my veins, I would rather see Audi badges whipping around. To be honest. But we have we have From a German a German like champion now with 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 Mercedes that's racing. Yeah, but whatever. I yeah. don't care about yeah. Lamborghini. I don't, to be <laughs> honest, anecdotally, obviously I've never driven one. Right. <laughs> mm. But uh, I've heard some stories about them not being built so well. Going back to... Maybe about the guys who build them having naps 
at work, <laughs> drinking wine <laughs> at work, <laughs> maybe forgetting a couple of screws here and there. They're Italian. No, but what what they do with the with the yeah, w- w- with Lamborghinis nowadays is that, um, uh, as as Jeremy Clarkson <laughs> described it on Top Gear, they they let they let the clever stuff, the electronics, the the engine, the transmission, the the gearbox, they leave that all to the Germans to figure out. <laughs> and then they're giving a chassis and basically told like build around it go crazy with the styling <laughs> so that's i mean yeah. well, if it's obviously not working for them yeah right because you can't you cannot buy a ferrari right at this point what, you mean a lamborghini no a ferrari why because everybody wants them oh that's true yeah that's, that's true. their competition yeah, yeah that, that is your competition hmm. they, they want to come back though but I, going back to what we were talking about before of, of of actually like that does F one need need, a, need, need uh, to prove a point? That, like do do they need to like invest so much mindless <laughs> nonsense uh, time in into just you know considering green technologies and things like that, or should they just you know accept no. who they are yes. and and go back? I I'd say so because the the argument can be like oh if we don't keep up with the times, uh, then this whole entire series of racing is gonna disappear because that I mean that really hasn't happened. I don't think that will happen. Uh, what's Formula E for? Yeah, exactly. Got the battery technologies. But you can you can even say, oh, the times are changing, or whatever. The times did change before, um, w- when the cars. Think about when the cars first arrived. Gas and is forty five dollars a barrel. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who <It's> cheap <laughs> as fuck? <laughs> no, but but seriously, okay. Let's let's go back a hundred and so years uh, to the past when cars first started popping up, and then people had uh, all these wild ideas of like oh what are we going to do with all these horses like you know all the all the all the charm of the horses are going to disappear and 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 we're never going to have any more horse racing and to this day there there's derbies and whatever like the, ho- the people are still racing horses people are still going to be racing motor vehicles uh, way past the point of it being practical to have a motor vehicle on the road uh, there's a dude that works at the uh, video store by my old house that's all he does is watch horse racing he's got a satellite TV connection, he can pull in any track in the world. Yeah, yeah. the discussion sh- track betting websites. The, sh- the discussion shouldn't be about 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 moving with the times yeah. in that direction. The, sh- the discussion should be moving in the times by improving the sport, um, in, in in ways that you can adopt new technology into it. Like you know, even even the ridiculous thing that we were just saying, bringing the team chat, but also like the H- like like a like an HUD display that could be cool, and it would bring in. That doesn't help. People watching TV, though. Yeah, no. If you make the feed available, if you like superimpose it on the on the on the like that Black Mirror, the Eye Vision. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. <Sorry. laughs> no. Yeah. Like, or, or you know, like the, the overhead. Take the overhead camera and superimpose whatever the driver can see in the HUD. You can do it. There's yeah, ways to do it. it. You know, but get rid of get rid of physically putting that display in the helmet doesn't help anybody because that, that just adds more <laughs> shit. Like throwing stats over the screen, right? Yeah, but that's what people like. People like to see the stats. Yeah, so it is kind of hard to see the little steering wheel screen yeah. when you're watching a broadcast. Yeah, there you go. People, yeah, if if they have like yeah. you know what what gear you're on here and whatever, like yeah, see they them throw up the corner, corner graphic once in a while, but mostly only a replay. Do you think people would be interested in that to know all the stats of like a car that's uh, being focused? They'll throw on it up occasionally shot. throughout the race. Like, well, show you this. I, I mean, I I would enjoy that. I, I would yeah, like yeah, that. Sort yeah, of like stuff. if they throw like you know when when you know because sometimes they follow a, a driver a lo- around a lap, mm-hmm. um, and in the middle that, that's mostly done through the uh, overhead um, uh, onboard cameras. If they had all, all kinds of information that, that what, you, what the driver would see on the HD yeah. superimposed over that as they approach a corner you could see all kinds of, like you you ought to be able to see all kinds of things like you know what gear they're on like when they're pushing right. the, the brake and whatever they do that now by this like little little graphic that they have here but it could it could be improved so and and also making F1 more available and, and making good quality content available for more than just its regional audience mm. should be allowed like, uh, th- there's no reason. I mean, we, c- we can come out here and say that, yes, we have watched the, the British broadcast because the British broadcast is better than the, than the North American broadcast, but any yeah. of the North American ones. <laughs> and, 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 and you can attract more fans by making that sort of stuff more available. Don't stop taking it down from YouTube. That but is actually not helping you. The fight pass argument. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So, d- w- 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 would you guys say that uh, the F1 is on the decline of. Uh, sort of fans and no, it seems see, like it seems huge. See, no, it's, it's see everywhere except that, here. That's the thing; it's not. But I think everyone wants to be bigger. Well, sort and, of, and, and, and everybody sort of way, everybody right? can sense the pulse and and, and mm. the changing tides and and it's a uh, 
it, it's it's like a like like a, an, an airplane that's right now maybe in, in, in a situation where it's not uh, running at full engines yeah okay. and and it might still be coasting but if something bad happens it's gonna plummet uh, all okay. the way down okay so that that could happen and there's there's definitely fear that that might happen and and it might happen if it's ha if it ha if it does happen it would be due to the mismanagement ah uh, okay yeah. okay bernie ecclestone <coughs> is doesn't like the technology i guess mm. like there is not a way legally to watch formula one through the internet there's oh shit yeah there's oh man there's a way does not exist you look at what are you, you're into hockey. Yeah, you yeah. can get that hockey pass now or whatever. You pay. Well, like CBC, right? CBC does uh, every uh, hockey night in Canada is, is free. Right. 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 So I got that. No, you're a cable provider. You can, it's something like 200 bucks a year. Well, if I had cable. On your phone. Yeah. The provider. They, yeah, yeah. Through the internet, through your phone, through whatever. You can watch any game, anytime. On the yeah. Movie. No, totally. And Uf UFC has this now. They can watch any fight. No, that's, that's what Formula that's One needs. That's amazing. You know, yeah, available for the whole world. Yeah, for the whole world. You pay whatever. So do whatever they want. Ten bucks a month or something like in Netflix. Yeah, but it is there does a, not exist. Is there, is there enough content? Like, uh, is it worth it like once a month to like pay for it? There's oh, no would, other way to watch it unless yeah. you have cable. That's, oh yeah, so lots of people will be, will be worth it. Yeah, okay. Do you have a cable subscription, Mike? I do not. Do you have a cable subscription? I have not for... A, Seven or eight years. I'm, I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I'm pretty sure that for the last decade, I have made a point not to have it. And I mean, I've been, I've, 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 I'm getting close to 30 now. And, and this is the time when people our age um, would be, you know, getting cable subscriptions back mm. in the day. You know what I mean? Mm. But that's not happening. But, but it's dying. Yeah, yeah, now, right? it's, it's yeah, dying. Yeah. Netflix, yeah. Hulu. Yeah. In this yeah, in this room cetera. alone, there's 0% of cable <laughs> subscription. Actually, and the other day, um, Nick Swan, <laughs> our, our good friends, friend Nick Swan, yeah, good friend Nick Swan, told us that he got a, a cable subscription. Uh, but but what he's, is he doing? Yeah, he's the one person that I know that's like in my group of friends. I'm gonna that, talk to him and tell him <laughs> to get out of yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> what are you doing? He's like, well, I'm just gonna do whatever I want. Oh, come on, Nick. <laughs> oh, it's because he doesn't have tech savvy. That's why. Anyway, <laughs> so, yeah, something I need to consider. Yeah. Um, but but that is yeah the the the, cha the, the the times are changing whether the old school that's running F1 likes it or not and and they need to move ahead with it mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the way that they're trying to do it is perhaps uh, misguided yeah that that's my thought yeah. definitely yeah. misguided yeah <laughs> absolutely I feel like uh, sort of like older I, I feel like F1 in racing is a, is a very old um, form not entertainment but like an old sport and there's a lot of old Maybe blood would be a good word to use for it. Uh, in it, and much so hockey, and you see see these similarities, yeah. and they're not so keen on um, the the ways of of the internet and the youth and oh. how they sort of uh, consume media. Oh, for sure. I, th I think I think that's and that's an, a, a growing debate because in any kind of sport that's big right now that has come to be big right now that's you know that survived the eighties, the seventies, grueling times for TV consolidation. Any sport that's big today and that has a, a wide following today is mainly run by uh people and, and they're and, you know people that should really be considering retiring yeah and 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 passing the torch along but yeah. obviously that there's there's so many considerations that then there's obviously big money involved so anytime yeah, yeah. That there's big money involved uh, that, that kind of stuff i just imagine like a bunch of like old white dudes they call like them in a <laughs> in with a big table actually actually <laughs> it, it, it's funny because in f1 they call they call them the piranha club <laughs> so just, yeah, yeah, like in, in the in the in the back rooms, they call themselves the Piranha Club. <laughs> <laughs> the meaning of the Piranha Club. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, I think what the, for uh, for that uh, with that we can just uh, end it here, and um, mm, we'll yeah. see you guys next time. And uh, oh, thanks for uh, uh, again. What's uh, the name of the podcast? Flat Out Fever oh, F One Podcast. Flat uh, Out Fever. Yeah. Flat Out Fever on YouTube. Oh, we got it's gonna, Flat it's, Out Fever it's on gonna Twitter. Be, it's gonna be every. Jay, yeah. you are just messing everything. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we just we, we got we got something on something going on on Twitter, don't we? We got we got an yellow. Anyway, go go yeah, on. Yeah. Flat out fever, just flat out fever on YouTube. Click on the links below, and uh, obviously all, all the content that we showed here Sound is copyright their audio. respective uh, um, owners, and please don't sue us. Yeah, that, <laughs> you guys don't do this for fun. <laughs> <laughs> so, right. Play us out. Oh, what? That's a thing.
Okay. Oh, uh, see ya. <laughs> I'll put it.